Hey everyone, it's Sherry Vegas, and in this really quick tutorial today, I'm gonna to be giving you one of my number one tips to stop micro bubbles in resin, and you don't need any special tools or any fancy equipment to do so. So if you've ever made a clear casting resin piece and once it's set you've noticed all of these really really tiny bubbles that you couldn't really see when you were doing the pour but once it's fully set it's full of these little micro bubbles and even though you used a blowtorch or heat gun to pop those surface bubbles you were still left with all of these little micro bubbles. Well I'm going to share my absolute number one rule to prevent micro bubbles when it comes to clear casting. And honestly it's so incredibly simple but you just need to find the right type of resin and I don't mean art resin and epoxy casting resins I mean the right type of casting resin okay so if you are new to resin and you want to make art pieces you'll generally find that there's art resin and then there's a casting resin so these have two different purposes your art resin is designed to go on top of surfaces so you can create artworks with it and it's generally a one-to-one -one ratio and it's designed to be a lot thicker so that way it can hold on to surfaces and then when you come to casting pieces because you're pouring them in you're pouring the resin into a mold you'll generally find Find that these will be a 2 to 1 ratio or even like a 2.5 to 1 or a 3 to 1 and the reason behind that is they make that kind of resin a lot more fluid so that way when you pour it into molds it will spread out a lot easier and it's not going to be as thick so what a lot of people don't know is that there is a difference with casting resins they're not all made the same just because it's a casting resin does not mean it's going to work the same and especially with clear castings it's really important because you're going to be able to see any bubbles because the resin is clear and what was a massive game changer for me was realizing that different casting resins will have a different viscosity and you want to find one that has a really fluid viscosity now if it does doesn't say on the website I would recommend messaging through to the manufacturer and asking them but a really kind of a good way you can tell is generally what is its pot life it's like curing time and that will help you work out whether it's a really fluid viscosity casting resin so generally if it's got a really long working time so a really long pot life and a really slow curing time it's going to be a lot more fluid than one that's got a shorter working time with it and that's going to be a thicker viscosity and if it's a thicker viscosity it's going to trap those micro bubbles in it I'm going to show you two pieces and they have been poured the exact same way the only thing that's been used on them was a tiny bit of heat with a heat gun but the difference is one was done with a really slow setting resin that had a two hour working time with it and the other one was done with a faster setting resin that only had a 30 minute working time with it and you can see the massive difference in the bubbles so that is my number one tip for those micro bubbles in resin is switch the resin that you're using and look for a really really fluid viscosity resin that's going to let those bubbles easily release out of that resin 